Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to prove that log base 2 of 3 is irrational. And first of all, let me explain how do I usually go to about proving things like this. To me, this right here is like a negative statement because the word irrational means what? It means not rational, right? So I'm trying to show log base 2 of 3 is not rational. And in this case, I will try to do it by contradiction. Another famous example is that you can try to prove there are infinitely many primes by using contradiction as well. Because infinitely many means what? Not finite amount. So here we go. I will do contradiction for this. And let me just indicate the method we're using. So by contradiction. And we are going to first suppose that this right here, log base 2 of 3, is rational. And based on this assumption, we're trying to get something that doesn't make sense. Well, some contradictions are seriously with like math uh, properties and things like that. And of course, we also have to remember the definitions. Right here, when you write a number as a rational number, when you know a number is a rational number, that means you can write a number in the form of fraction. So we can say, then, we may write log base 2 of 3 as a fraction. I'll just put it as a over b, where a and b are just integers. But here is the technical part. We know that 3 is bigger than 2, so log base 2 of 3, this right here has to be positive. In fact, this has to be greater than 1, right? So if you have a fraction right here, to get positive, of course, you have two situations, positive divided by positive or negative divided by negative. And of course, if you have negative divided by negative, you can just cancel on the negative and just look at the positive version, right? So I can actually say a and b are positive integers. And when you do that, you don't have to say b is not equal to zero because you talk about a and b are positive integers already. And of course, this is because, uh, let me just say because, log base 2 of 3 is greater than 0, meaning that was positive, right? And now I have an equation to work with, and let's just do some regular math. We have log base 2. So we can do 2 to this power and 2 to that power. We can exponentiate both sides like this. Then we have the equation. This and that will cancel, so we just pretty much have 3 equal 2 to the a over b power, which is the same as I can just raise both sides to the b's power so that this power times that, of course, b and b cancel. So we get 3 to the b is equal to 2 to the a. That's what we have at the moment. But you have to remember, a and b are positive integers. And in fact, this is not good at all. Because we see that, I'll just say, however, well, but, well, however, but, 3 to the b is always, when you're doing a number theory questions or whatsoever, we're going to prove, right? Think about the even and odd properties. Because this right here, 3 to the b, when you have a base, it's an odd number to an integer power, positive integer power, this right here will always be odd, while 2 to the a, when you have an even base to a positive integer power, this right here is always even. Of course, when you have an odd number on the left hand side, being equal to an even number on the right hand side, that doesn't make sense. So you can say 3 to the b is always odd, while 2 to the a is always even, which is a contradiction. And you can just say, this is bad. You can just put down contradiction and it can be cool. When you write down contradiction, this is it. You can put down box, shading, and that's it, right? Pretty cool, huh?